today's episode. Operating System What is Operating System? An operating system is an intermediary between users and computer hardware. It also gives the user an interface where they can use and perform program in the easiest way possible. Operating system also manages the allocation of resources and services like the memory, processor and devices. What are the types of operating system? Batch operating system. The users of batch operating system do not interact with the computer directly. Each user prepares his job on an offline device like punch cards and submits it to the computer operator. To speed up processing, jobs with similar needs are batched together and run as a group. Thus, the programmers left their programs with the operator. The operator then sorts programs into batches with similar requirements. The problems with batch systems are following. Lack of interaction between the user and job. CPU is often idle, because the speeds of the mechanical I.O. devices is slower than CPU. Difficult to provide the desired priority. Timesharing operating systems. Timesharing is a technique which enables many people, located at various terminals, to use a particular computer system at the same time. Timesharing or multitasking is a logical extension of multiprogramming. Processors time which is shared among multiple users simultaneously is termed as time sharing. Multiple jobs are executed by the CPU by switching between them, but the switches occur so frequently. Thus, the user can receive an immediate response. Operating system uses CPU scheduling and multiprogramming to provide each user with a small portion of a time. Computer systems that were designed primarily as batch systems have been modified to time sharing systems. Distributed operating systems use multiple central processors to serve multiple real-time application and multiple users. Data processing jobs are distributed among the processors accordingly to which one can perform each job most efficiently. The processors communicate with one another through various communication lines such as high-speed buses or telephone lines. These are referred as loosely coupled systems or distributed systems. Processors in a distributed system may vary in size and function. These processors are referred as sites, nodes, computers and so on. Network Operating System Network Operating System runs on a server and then provides server the capability to manage data, users, groups, security, applications, and other networking functions. The primary purpose of the network operating system is to allow shared file and printer access among multiple computers in the network. Typically, a, a real-time system is any information processing system which has to respond to externally generated input stimuli within a finite and specified period. The correctness depends not only on the logical result but also the time it was delivered. Failure to respond is as bad as the wrong response. Examples of real-time operating system are Linux OS, OS, QNX, RT Linux, VxWorks, Windows CE. A hard real-time system also known as an immediate real-time system is hardware or software that must operate within the confines of a stringent deadline. The application may be considered to have failed if it does not complete its function within the allotted time span. Examples of hard real-time systems include components of pacemakers, anti-lock brakes, Aircraft control systems. Soft real time operating system, in this type of OS, missing a deadline is acceptable. There is a cost associated to overrunning, but this cost may be abstract. For example, online databases, mobile phone, digital cameras, and orchestra playing robots. How does operating system work? Operating system plays the role of the good parent making sure that each application gets the necessary resources while playing nicely with all the other applications, as well as husbanding the limited capacity of the system to the greatest good of all the users and applications. Providing a consistent application interface is especially important if there is to be more than one of a particular type of computer using the operating system, or if the hardware making up the computer is ever open to change. Examples of operating system 
Windows Computer Operating System was developed by Microsoft Corporation with the co-founder Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Featuring the first graphical user interface for IBM-compatible PCs, the Windows OS soon dominated the PC market. Approximately 90% of PCs run some version of Windows. The first version of Windows, released in 1985, was simply a GUI offered as an extension of Microsoft's existing disk operating system, or MS-DOS. Based in part on licensed concepts that Apple Incorporated had used for its Macintosh system software, Windows for the first time allowed DOS users to visually navigate a virtual desktop, opening graphical windows displaying the contents of electronic folders and files with the click of a mouse button, rather than typing commands and directory paths at a text prompt. Subsequent versions introduced greater functionality, including native Windows File Manager, Program Manager, and Print Manager programs and a more dynamic interface. Microsoft also developed specialized Windows packages, including the networkable Windows for workgroups and the high-powered Windows NT, aimed at businesses. The 1995 consumer release Windows 95 fully integrated Windows and DOS and offered built-in Internet support, including the World Wide Web browser Internet Explorer. The founder of Windows operating system Paul Allen and Bill Gates Linux computer operating system created in the early 1990s by Finnish software engineer Linus Torvalds and the Free Software Foundation, FSF. While still a student at the University of Helsinki, Torvald started developing Linux to create a system similar to Minix, a Unix operating system. In 1991 he released version.02, version 1.0 of the Linux kernel, the core of the operating system, was released in 1994. About the same time, American software developer Richard Stallman and the FSF made efforts to create an open-source Unix-like operating system called GNU. Linux is popular for systems as diverse as cellular telephones and supercomputers. The addition of user-friendly desktop environments, office suites, web browsers, and even games helped to increase Linux's popularity and make it more suitable for home and office desktops. Mac operating system was developed by the American computer company Apple Incorporated and is owned by the late Steve Jobs. The OS was introduced in 1984 to run the company's Macintosh line of personal computers. The Macintosh heralded the era of graphical user interface systems, and it inspired Microsoft Corporation to develop its own GUI, the Windows OS. Later Mac OS releases introduced features such as internet file sharing network browsing, and multiple user accounts. Android was developed by Google and the Open Handset Alliance, a coalition of hardware, software and telecommunications companies. More than 30 companies were involved in the OS, including Qualcomm, Broadcom, HTC, Intel, Samsung, Motorola, Sprint, Texas Instruments and Japanese wireless carriers KDDI and NTT Ducomo. Android began its life as a Palo Alto-based startup company, founded in 2003. That company was subsequently acquired by Google in 2005. The Android platform includes an operating system based upon Linux, a GUI, a web browser and end-user applications that can be downloaded. Although the initial demonstrations of Android featured a generic QWERTY smartphone and large VGA screen, the operating system was written to run on relatively inexpensive handsets with conventional numeric keypads. Android runs on both of the most widely deployed cellular standards, GSM or SPA and CDMA or EVDO. As of May 2014 there is a total of 1.4 billion Android phone user in the world. iOS is Apple's proprietary mobile operating system for its handheld devices such as the iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch. The operating system is based on the Macintosh OS X. Designed for use with Apple's multi-touch devices, iOS supports input through direct manipulation. The system responds to various user gestures, such as pinching, tapping and swiping. On October 12, 2011, Apple released iOS 5 which expanded the number of available applications to over 500,000. That ends our episode for today. More videos? Subscribe and wait for our next episode.